Alrighty guys, this is Ricardo and we're back here on the Watch With Us channel with another review. And this week we actually have a watch that um, when I was kind of going crazy looking for a GMT, this was one of the top watches on my list of watches that I was looking at. And that is the Frederick Constant Yacht Timer GMT. Now, I had always seen the watch in this kind of gold color here, but I wasn't a big fan of just the overall color um, until I basically found this blue version that recently came out last year, and I really fell in love with the watch, and I had been dying to, to get my hands on one, and I finally did, and... A watch, I've had the watch, I have to say, for about two to three weeks. And, you know, just decided, you know what, it's time to put in a review. Some specs and some information on the watch. The specific model number on this watch is FC-350NT4H6. Now going over some more of the specs, you have... A 42 millimeter case which is the size from left to right you get a 51 millimeter lug to lug thickness on the case comes in at 12.6 millimeters inside you have the FC-350 movement which comes in at 38 hours of power reserve and 28,800 beats per hour the watch has a hundred meters of water resistance. Here we have the signed clasp and the deployment clasp. If you go here, you see that beautiful FC 35 movement there. Let's see if we can get in a little bit, a bit closer with that gold rotor. Around the edges, you have information on the movement, sapphire, Frederic Constant. Going back to the front of the watch and looking at that beautiful dial, you have a slight pattern, slight kind of dimple pattern throughout the dial. You get polished indices, which include Superluminova. On a smaller reel around the dial, you have a 24 hour track and that's for your GMT hand, which is black and tipped in red. You have loom on both, on actually all your hands, except the second hand, you have loom on your GMT, your hour and your minute hand. You get that date window there at three o'clock. Um, the day and night separation on that GMT track is silver for your day and this darker blue for your night. Strap that this comes in on is a beautiful leather strap, which is 21 millimeters at the case and tapers down to 18 millimeters here at the clasp. Now, in terms of the movement, going back to that FC350 movement, it is, of course, a GMT movement. On the first position, without moving a knee, without moving the crown out, you get winding. Second position, when you pull the watch out, is if you go clockwise. Oh, actually, I pulled it too much out. If you go clockwise, you change the date. If you go counterclockwise, you actually get a jump in the hour and in hour increments. If you go to the last position, you now have full movement. of the hands. Now, one 
interesting tidbit about this is in terms of your date, that date is not tied into the hour hand. It's actually tied into the GMT hand. So as the GMT hand moves over 24, that's when you'll get that change in your date there. Now, as I've stated, I've had the watch for a couple weeks now, and there are definitely some positives and some negatives in regards to the watch. In terms of negatives, I have to say I wish the watch, that FC350 movement, had a little bit more power reserved than 38 hours. Um, I think with the way the industry is now, I think a reasonable requirement would be uh, you know, a minimum of 50 hours of power reserve on a lot of these watches, especially a GMT watch, and especially with the way us as collectors are now, we have multiple watches. So I think a little bit extra time on a power reserve, it's not to, it's nice to not always have to wind and set your watch every single time that you go for it because you wear multiple watches. Um, I do wish that um, it wasn't a full polished case um, because it will lend itself towards scratching um, and I think that will kind of take away from the watch now I must um, make a caveat I did say full polished but you do get brushing here on the top of your lugs but still for the most part I'd say 90% of the case is polished including the case back and it's a very high polish which means you're gonna get scratches and they're not gonna be fun. Uh, in terms of positives, I have to say that the dial, I really love the layout of the dial. Um, I think that overall blue color, that, that kind of high polishing on the indices which really capture the light, I think that all works together. Um, really love the loom on this watch which I'll just show you guys real quick. Kind of get my loom gun going here. And I'll kind of show you what I mean. If you guys see, um, the loom actually lasts a nice bit of time. And I really like the fact that the 24 hour hand, as you can see there, is loomed as well. It's something that I kind of get annoyed by on a lot of GMT watches. It never makes sense to me why you wouldn't loom the GMT hand because it's a time teller. So you want to be able to see that. Um, and the nice double indices here at 12 o'clock with the loom, um, it allows you to have a perfect um, kind of know your bearings. Um, just looking at the watch, if it was off your wrist, let's say it's the middle of the night and you got that loom going, it's nice to have that double, that double loom going on at 12 o'clock. Finally, another thing I really like, which kind of adds to the overall design, is that beautiful texture here on the dial, which you can kind of see there. But I'm gonna go ahead, pop this on my seven and a half inch wrist so you guys see how this wears. Um, my wrist is of course a little bit bigger, so 42 I have no problem with. Um, that, I will say that 51 millimeter lug to lug, um, it is a little bit long, so uh, for the smaller wristed individuals, just beware, you know, that might overhang a little bit, but for me, I have to say it wears pretty well. But that completes it for my review of the blue and silver Yacht Timer GMT. Uh, final point I just wanna make is of course pricing. If we're going to pricing on this watch, it comes in at $1,995 from Frederick Constant. Um, there's also a bracelet um, that you could get for this watch. It's not readily available on bracelet, but if you wanted to get a bracelet for this watch, there's one that kind of works with the 
the case here, so you could always order that as an extra from Frederick Constant as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the review and enjoyed the watch. Um, I very much did. Had an opportunity to take this to a take this on my vacation. Um, I mean, vacation and GMT and traveling kind of just all go together. Um, so I really got a chance to enjoy the watch. But I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And I'll catch you guys later on the channel. Bye, guys. Thank you.